it was just like a series of events that yeah. kind of just, you know, and it wasn't really that they were bad. They just, he couldn't handle that. Right. He had been drinking since four o'clock. He went through a bottle and a half of wine by himself. I didn't drink. And he had never eaten. Mm-hmm. And next thing I know, we're wrestling in my living room and I'm in a chokehold. I'm unconscious. I, I don't know how long I was really unconscious, but I know when I opened my eyes, uh, I was seeing stars. I couldn't breathe. My best friend was on FaceTime with me. The entire thing is recorded. Oh, my God. I've only listened to it once because it's triggering. Of course. It sounds like a horrific movie. Yeah. You can just hear me screaming, call 911. He's trying to kill me. He's trying to kill me. And I'm, like, gasping and um, the way I can't breathe. Did the cops end up coming? Yes. Um, there was a second time that he pinned me up against my stairs and, like, put his hands on my neck and choked me out. Um, and I thought he was going to bite my face because he came at me very violently. Mm-hmm. But he kissed me. He said, I'm not like you. I'm not going to call the cops. And, it, and then kissed me, like, violently and then left. And he took my phone and throw it, threw it and broke it, which is why it's broken. Mm. And so I'm, like, shaking. Couldn't have told you my address at that point in time anyway if yeah. I had called 911. My girlfriend had already called, but they were not um, going fast enough because she's in Las Vegas and I'm technically in Henderson. Yeah. So she was rushing to my house on the phone with them. Um, I have Vivint, so I'm shaking and at my panel just trying to call for help and, and can't. Like, I am just couldn't process right so you know i was definitely in fight mode and went from that to fawn just froze just just frozen yeah in fear and um i I eventually called the two you know panic and emergency my phone was broken so vivant comes calling me and saying is it a real emergency call my mom my mom's now alerted what's going on Mm -hmm. and um we didn't tell her for a couple days but um the police were there already by the time that my girlfriend got there but he was already gone right and um, he's out of state, but he has a an a warrant for his arrest uh, for a uh, felony. I was going to ask you, do you plan on pressing charges? I have no choice in the matter. I can't not press charges, mm. and I didn't know that. Um, and they said that, you know, because he attempted to strangle you more than once. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and I lost, you know, like I lost bodily fluids, everything. Like my body went completely yeah. And I didn't know that. Like, I didn't know all of that was part of it. Mm-hmm. I've never been through anything like that before. Mm-hmm. And um, I learned so much um, when I was in the hospital. I was all bruised up. I'm pretty much healed. I mean, there's, like, some marks still, like, here where you can see. But I was pretty bruised up. Um, but okay, all things considered. And, you know, it's permanently changed my medical record. I have to let every doctor know that I come in contact with that I have been strangled and why is that because um there can be delayed injuries for up to 10 years when your thyroid and your carotid arteries have been impacted wow and I didn't know that yeah and that was what made me they made me go I didn't want to go to the emergency room I didn't want to go anywhere I said you know I'm I had taken a Xanax I was so upset um it was shaking so bad I was like can I just go to urgent care tomorrow Mm-hmm. Like, I know, I mean, the bruises were just showing up as mm-hmm. the neck was swelling. Everything was swelling. I'm pretty sure his finger's broken. It's so messed up still, but. Uh, sorry. Um, it's, okay. it's a lot. You didn't want to go to oh, the hospital. They came back three times. I mean, I was freaking out every time I saw a shadow at the door. And, you know, my best friend was there and. The sergeant you- came back and was like, let me explain to you what's going on with your body right now. Mm-hmm. You have to go because you could not wake up tomorrow with an aneurysm, with blood clots, right. with multiple things that are internal from this happening to you. Like a traumatic brain injury that Anything you're not aware of. That I'm just in- he goes, internally, so much can be out. And I didn't know that. Yeah. And he said, it's also going to help your case with the district attorney. And I said, fine. When that moment, when he said that, I'm like, I'll go. Yeah. And I said, I'm not going to sit there for hours, though. If they tell me it's hours, I'm walking right out. Yeah. And um, they said, we have a specialist who actually handles just this. Mm -hmm. And so everything took forever anyway. CT scans, I had to do all of it. And um, I'm just lucky to come back with 
just the bruises, you know, possible broken finger. Everything is, I'm healthy. Yeah. All things considered. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.